Uh, my name is Elisa McLeod. Um, I work for Crowdy, so I work four days a week for Ross Williams, who's the director, um, and I'm also a painter. Um, so this is my work here. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? I've been working here for about six and a half years um, and painting all my life really. So, right. yeah. so it used to be an old grammar school. Um, we moved here about seven years ago um, and it was a school about three years before that. Um, and now the new Redry School is just over the, across the field there. So um, I do all paintings on canvas and semi-abstract. Um, and it's all a build up of very, very fine layers. Um, so it creates a sort of 3D effect so you can look right through with a lot of depth. Um, I use photography a lot so um, I play around with the depth of field um, and try and blur things and then focus on one tiny area. Um, it's sort of a, a mixture of um, blurred areas um, and then fine intricate details so that when you get up close to the painting you can still see yeah. um, tiny details. Yeah, it is kind of 3D isn't it? Fantastic. I took lots of photographs um, in, a, in a pine forest in the south of France where my parents live um, and got totally inspired and did a, a whole series of them. So I'm also currently exhibiting um, at Beaux Arts in Bath um, and also I have a, an exhibition on, um, with lots of other artists that I'm part of at the Crypt Gallery in St Ives and that's on until the 7th. So, so we've got um, photographers, jewellers, textiles artists, painters, um, woodworkers, I'm going to leave someone out now. Um, we've got mosaics, glass, um, musicians, we, can, we haven't got any writers at the moment but that's a possibility. We've got website designers, well, everything you can think of. Yeah, so, great, yeah, great vibe in there. Isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah. a really good place to be and I think um, People get a lot of inspiration being surrounded by other creative people and you sort of feed off each other, so yeah, it's a great place to be. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I got the idea because I, I visited Norway for Christmas a couple of years ago and their craft and woodcraft is enormous. It's a day-to-day -day thing, so I wanted to uh, bring those ideas here. And, and see how people responded to them, really. It's a study of something called a mantis shrimp. Right. So we tried to make, uh, and it does, it clicks together a bit like a puzzle, and you can make a shrimp out of the three pieces going together. Right. Um, and no one's kind of got it before, and then this, this teenager came in today and said, that's a mantis shrimp, isn't it? <laughs> and he went, yeah, it is. <laughs> he didn't buy it, but. <laughs> <laughs> At least you knew what it was. Yeah. Really pleased with that. Nice to see yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what are you doing here today? Uh, I just happened to be driving by. Right, yeah. yeah. And I noticed all these people. Right, okay. So, I thought I'd come in and check what the youngsters were going to be needing for. Yeah. Christmas. If they've been good, obviously. Of course, yes. Yeah. I, okay. uh, my elf has just gone to find my book because I've got a book of all your names. Right, okay. We were yeah. actually with you in St. Austell last night, but I don't think you remember that. No. <laughs> oh, I hadn't been taking a few nips, had I? Yeah, you, you looked a bit different as well. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. James Otter um, and we're at Crowdy in uh, in Red Roof, which is a group of creative spaces. Um, and I'm here making wooden surfboards. We make wooden surfboards to order. We run workshops so people can come and build their own surfboards. Um, and we make little hand planes for body surfing with as well. So anything wooden and surf is what we do. It looks really easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey. Yeah, I mean, how many bits is this made out of? Um, there's about 13 spars down the length of this. Yep. Um, what is there? Probably another six bits of planking either side and a load of rail strips. So yeah. quite a few bits of wood all go together. Right, yeah. Um, How long does it take to make a surfboard then? Um, <laughs> they're about seven days work for me, start to finish. Right, okay. um, And then the workshops we run are kind of a five day course. 
Um, so I have everything prepped and ready for people when they come in and then they spend three days putting it all together and then two days shaping it. So, so how long have you been making surfboards? Um, about four years or so I built my first one. Right. Um, yeah, four years ago, kind of January times. So. Yeah. So you're a surfer? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Whereabouts do you go? Um, well, I live at Port Town, so I tend okay. to either go there or, or down to, to Goodreevy and stuff. Yeah. So. And did you start building your own because the ones available weren't that good? Pretty or? much, yeah, really, no, yeah. pretty much, yeah. I mean, I was always into woodwork, um, did, a, did a degree in designing and making, and, uh, and worked with some good timber frames and stuff. Um, and yeah, just the circle just won't last, the foam ones just don't last very long, so yeah. I was like, right, I've got to be able to make a longer lasting and more sustainable surfboard yeah. with wood. So. Yeah, yeah. How long would a board like this last? You know, with a um, well, I've, I mean the first one I built I rode solidly for two years and it's, and it's as it was when I made it. Okay. Um, so I, c I can imagine them kind of lasting generations really. Yeah. Um, but the only, the only test for that will be the test of time. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. What do you think about that then? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not best impressed, I must say. <laughs> Well, I'm Alice Mahoney. And I'm Stuart Blackmore. And uh, this is our print studio at Crowdy in Red Roof. We've recently opened this print studio. We, it's mainly for silkscreen printing, and we're offering workshops to help people to um, learn how to do silkscreen printing and do colour separations. But we're also offering other workshops, um, book binding. Um. We are um, kind of trying to think of publishing. So screen printing is a, is a way to publish your work. and and because I'm into some digital stuff, so web portfolios and websites, especially for artists as well, people who need a bit of help getting their stuff out there. Right, so you've just arrived, really. You... Well, I've had a studio here for about two years, but um, my, my studio is very small, so I got together with Stuart and Daniel McGowan to share this, this space so that we could have a shared print space to offer workshops to people and to have... Um, the facilities that we could then have more than two people printing at once. And um, we'll also be offering, um, we'll be getting other friends who are artists with particular skills offering workshops as well. So we'll be doing casting and mould making and um, we'll be looking at other things. So if you look on our website, which is... Studio, yeah. that's how it's look just, then. It's just coming on, it's just coming on down here now. Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's at studiofluxcouk I'm Caroline Liddington and I've been in Crowdy for about three years now, um, painting and illustrating. But in recent, um, well, this last year, I've been painting uh, from my van, my or orange VW camper. So that's why there's an awful lot of orange in the work. <laughs> and I've been out and about painting from it and through it. Yeah, I can um, see them. Yeah, fantastic. And before that I was doing uh, lino prints and um, just completed an MA at Falmouth. Um, and generally having a lovely time. It's great in Crowdy. Yeah. Because of the, particularly this space, the light's fantastic. It's lovely to see that view. Most of your inspiration comes from, well, you're driving around in a camper van. Yeah. At the moment it's comes <laughs> from the camper van because I'm still in love with it. Yeah. Um, but just, just colour, as you can see. Yeah. I just, I just love it. I think this is the brightest uh, uh, studio I've been in so far. Yeah, yeah. but that's partly because it's got such good light as well. Yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Val Mannering. Um, I'm a painter, um, artist. Um, I like to paint figuratively. Um, I love to paint um, people doing things, having fun, days out at the weekends, um, something we've all done. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy uh, capturing different ages of people, children, um, older people, teenagers and so on and um, I just like to, to, to put the scenery in, sometimes it's Cornish, sometimes um, imaginative, um, I love the snow and it doesn't really snow down here so I like to paint a lot of scenes with the snow in and I like to pretend I'm within that particular picture. I've been here at Crowdy for uh, about six months now absolutely love it um, lovely lovely warm environment with all the artists and craftspeople and um, it's it's my favorite place to be I'm Charmaine Honeychurch 
Um, I've been painting at Crouchy Studios for about three years. There's a lot of paint on these, well, they, is it canvas? Yeah, um, yeah um, I um, work in thick impasto paint. Yes. Um, it's very um, expressive. Um, I'm inspired um, very much by the Impressionist painters. Um, I love Mon Claude Monet. I go out in the gardens and stuff and do quick charcoal drawings. Um, I work fast and impulsively, lots of looking through the mirrors, but very fast to get the energy out. So I'm here pretending I'm painting. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> I want to edit that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I've had this studio for about three years. Um, I re I've recently got into the CMR Gallery, which is a red roof, brilliant team of guys. Um, I, had, I had to pull out of the show that they're doing tonight um, because I've got a bit of a painting block. Wow. But, um, but I've decided last minute to do this because I, I just got a painting out last night. Kind of. Right. So, yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. And what's it like being in Crowley? Crowley, oh, they're such really nice guys. I've got Alice and Stuart next door to me, who are print, printers, and um, really nice guys. But they're just, um, everyone is very supportive. Um, what I like about Crowley is you're left to just get on with your own thing. So I've got lots of space so I can just paint away and get on with it. Yeah. And they're accommodating to my messiness. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just get a quick shot of the table after that. We're all nuts. Yeah. <laughs> but that, the norm, I think the norm's boring. Who wants to... No, no, who wants to be normal? And what is normal, isn't it? So... Yeah.